All right, good blessing even everybody coming to you with a Bible study from John chapter 10. I'm going to dive right into it. Uh, King James Version as usual. And it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep heareth his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, and they understood not what things they were which he which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. I'll pause right there. Verse 8. Um, exactly what I was talking about the other day. You have uh, sheep and you have wolves. Verse 8. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, which are the wolves. But the sheep did not hear them. So the sheep did not listen to the thieves and robbers. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. So this is Jesus again. He's telling us that he is the way. Remember, it's written in his word that no one may come unto the Father except for through me. You don't get to, you don't get to just uh, go in the back door and go to God. Nope, you got one way. You got to come in through the front door. And that's through Jesus. You should be saved and, sh and shall go in and out and find pasture. So you, can, so you can go in through the front door, which is Jesus, speak to the Father God, and you got your way right there, right through the back door into that pasture. Now, verse 10, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have a life. And we all know who the thief is, like a Roman lion. And they, and that they might have it more abundantly. So this is Jesus has come, so we may have life, and to have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep, but he that is an heir and hireling, and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is a an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. Verse 14. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. So just like a, uh, just like Ephesians 1, 4. He has chosen you ever since before the foundation of the universe. So you, you're marked. He knows who you are. They don't mean you can act a fool. They don't give you um, license to go out there and continue to sin. You still have other laws. Proverbs 28.1 or Proverbs 28.15. You pick. All right, verse 15. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I, the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. And the other sheep I have, which are not in this fold, them also I must bring. So those that aren't even, uh, cho so those that you know may not even be chosen at that moment, he must also bring them in, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life that I might take it up again, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down. And I have the power to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my father. There is a division, therefore, among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them say, said, he hath the devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? So he is of the devil. Why should you, why, why hear Jesus? Why listen to Jesus? Because they're saying that he is of the devil. Verse 21, others said, these are not the words of him that hath the devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. 
So just let you know it's it's an important time in the winter. Not Christmas, but it's an important time in winter. There's a, a special feast that take that usually takes place in um in the winter time. And Jesus walked in the temple on Solomon's porch, in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us doubt? So how long will you have us doubt? In the next part, if thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. So they're asking Jesus, tell us plainly if you be Christ, if you are Christ. Which uh, translated into um, Hebrew or uh, properly defined, Christ is the Christ simply means the, the, the Messiah, the messenger. And Jesus answered in verse 25. I told you, and ye believe not the works that I do in my Father's name. They're, they bear witness to me. So my works speak for myself. But the works that I do in my Father's name, you don't even believe. Verse 26, but ye believe not because ye are not my sheep, as I said unto you. So verse 26, Jesus tell them, the reason you don't believe is because you're not my sheep. Exactly what we was talking about before with sheep and wolves. Verse 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So he's, he said, you can't even take, you can't touch my sheep. You can't take my sheep away from me. My, for my sheep will never perish. They will have eternal life. Verse 29, my father, which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Verse 30. Then the Jews, verse 31, then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answer him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou being a man makest thyself God. So verse 33, they're saying, uh, we're stoning you, not because of the works that you've done, but we're stoning you because of the blasphemy that you speak. You're a mere man who is making himself a God. So they completely got his, they, they completely missed the point of what he was saying. So verse 34, Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. Say ye of him whom the father have sacrificed and sent into the world thou blasphemest. Because I said, I am the son of God. So do you believe? Because I said, I am the son of God. Is that which is that what you call blasphemy? Verse thirty seven. If I do not the works of my father, believe me not. So he's like, just don't believe me. If I don't do the work of my father in heaven, just don't believe me. Verse thirty eight. But if I do, thou though ye believe not me believe the works that ye may know and believe that the father is in me and I am him so he's saying not in me that you believe but in the works that my father has sent me to do believe in what I have done because it's not by me that this has been done verse 39 therefore thou sought again to take him but he escaped out of their hand and went away beyond Jordan in the place where John at first baptized and there he abode 41 and many resorted unto him and said John did no miracle but all things that John spake of this man were true and many believed on him there so they believed what John has spoken about this man because he came and just as he said I have not come to do away with the law but I've come to fulfill it and Jesus did just that so that's a quick Bible study for this week um, John chapter 10 I pray this has blessed you all as well remember every day you know give God a chapter in the Bible every single day you know however he leads I always advise people if you don't know where to start put yourself on a 31 day challenge there are 31 chapters in, in the book of Proverbs. 
to me, is the best book in the Bible because it's filled with so much wisdom. And uh, so much wisdom that you can use to govern your daily lives. And it'll it'll be changing, life-changing for you if you if you do that 31-day challenge. Every single day, read a chapter, read a chapter, read a chapter. And uh, the, the, the Bible will start to become alive for you guys. So... Pray to complete and tire my God of you guys according to the book of Ephesians. I plead the blood of Jesus over you all as well according to Job 1 10 so that you may have a hedge protection around you. Around everything that you have on either side, whether it's your finances, your cars, your children, your family, your homes, every single thing, Father God. And I thank you guys for tuning into these videos. You all have a blessed, blessed night.